Yeah, look at that thing going down, almost three quarters now. So I'd say that's sunk too. So yeah, we'll take the other one out with the deck gun. There we go. Nice, nice. G'day and welcome back everyone. So before we head out in the next mission, uh, we want to get this research done and I actually found out um, we have five crew and uh, we do have uh, a reputation point. And if we head over to the, the leading officer, we can actually ask for a few favors and um, we can take the specialized crew for one, one uh, reputation point which uh, allows us six uh, officers on board. Now we do have spot for uh, six officers on board, so we'll just check the recruiting. Alright, let's see if we have any officers available. Okay, there is one officer. It's a radio guy. We actually do want him, so I'm going to recruit this guy. Alright, excellent. And there we do. So now uh, we're going to go Captain, back here. Sorry about that. We want to take Let him off the U-boat. Uh, and we're going to put send him into headquarters. So we'll choose crew for next uh, assignment. And this radio guy, so we'll take him off. We also are short a couple soldiers. So what we can do is this guy here, we'll take him out. And uh, we'll just put in a couple, three randoms there. So we're at uh, full soldiers too. Perfect. All right. Now we'll head to headquarters. Okay, we'll start a new operation now. I'm going to take hydrophones. And, uh, yes, there we go. 24 days. So, basically, um, we'll go out, we'll do another easy patrol. We'll try to waste a few weeks and uh, get that research done and uh, do the install. Back at the uh, leading officer here, we're just going to take an easy patrol uh, again. We we'll want some more experience, so we'll take the easy patrol. Perfect. And before we go, I just want to look here because um, we've been out on a few missions. Uh, level one, oh, not quite. Um, once we gain the next uh, level, we'll uh, open up a, a second uh, set of skills that we'll be able to use. Make sure, see if this guy, yeah, one more mission. So we'll do one more uh, easy patrol here, and that should um, basically bring those guys up to level two. So I'll set the course, and uh, yeah, we'll see when we get out there. I'm actually going to use the uh, fast travel for this. So I right click, it's going to take uh, 99 tons of fuel and 135 units of food. So we'll take that. Instead of wasting all the time to go there, just the fast travel over. And then we'll set our course. I didn't notice when we took um, the uh, patrol quest, which is good, is we got another uh, guy on our our ship to... Ooh, let's get these uh, engines going. Uh, a journalist on board. So let's find him. We had one earlier here. Let's see if we can... Uh, so we have to talk to him. There we go. So a war correspondent. Thanks you. Okay, so yeah, welcome aboard. Perfect. Just got into the patrol zone. Um, I put everybody to sleep. I want them rested up. So we'll uh, get Clug. We'll transfer uh, that radio broadcast at the, reaching the patrol sector. Get that sent out. Um, so we'll just basically patrol up and down, I guess. And uh, hopefully we find some uh, trading ships. Okay, just got some chimney smoke here. Two to four, small group. We'll uh, get Clug on the radio right away. Um, okay, everybody's doing their thing. Um, I'm going to get him preheating torpedoes. Yeah, we'll get him preheating those torpedoes up just in case. Uh, okay, I'll send that off. Okay, we just came into a uh, detection uh, range here, about nine kilometers out. All right, so let's start identifying the air Calculate freighters. Torpedo course. Calculate torpedo course. 
change course. We'll keep that um, cut off course there. And we just got in a transmission just came in as we were heading toward them here. We'll get uh, Clug to decipher that. That'll take a few minutes. You know, we're still about eight kilometers away. And I can look way out here. I think we can see the ships just on the horizon. So yeah, gonna keep traversing across the surface a bit further and uh, then we'll go down to Periscope. That uh, transmission there, let's see, uh, some of our crew show signs of scurvy. Ah, okay, it's another U-boat up there that uh, has the scurvy. Okay, well, we're going to, we'll head up there, but I definitely want to take a poke at these guys first. If we can get the 4,000 tons to get that uh, bonus part of the mission, that would be great. Um, what are we at here? 40%. So we'll we'll keep moving forward a little bit more and then uh, dive down. Uh, so I've changed my course just slightly, more of cutting them off. I've slowed down a bit just to get a better um, on my hydrophone and my uh, sight. So yeah, we're still uh, still trying to lock them in. 34%. Uh, we we lost them when we went down, so it kind of restarts. And 29 on that. So a few more minutes. I have preheated the, the torpedoes. I'm probably going to do it again before I launch. Um, we'll just see here what they're at. Skipper. On duty. Yeah, they're already halfway. Maybe we'll yes, just start uh, warming them again. Yeah, continue creeping forward. Um, can we see them a bit better here? Yeah, there they are right there. Nice. Um, maybe we'll get lucky, get all three of them. been tracking all alongside them like this for I don't know five minutes or so <clears throat> we've got some pretty good uh, targeting on them uh, 95 on B uh, 96 on the front one really haven't uh, started uh, beating this one I think he was at about 70 so I figure we'll take uh, the shots at A first um, it's at 97 then we'll shoot at B wait uh, 30 seconds a minute and then take our last shots and that'll allow us to get him targeted in better. So I think um, here at 97, I think I'm gonna take the shots. I feel pretty comfortable. All the, the torpedoes are preheated, so that'll help us out. But I'm gonna fire, I think, uh, two at A, uh, one at B, and then the, uh, the, the fourth torpedo will go at the next one and we'll start reloading right away. So let's uh, take our shots at A. So yeah, we'll shoot uh, tube one and two at A and then quickly uh, switch over and uh, get B shot. All right, here we go, fire. Fire. Okay, B's at 95. Calculate torpedo course. We will take our shots at B. One, two, three. Let's say we'll just do one. Two, three, flooded. Fire. All right. Okay, and now we'll get everybody on Calculate the. Calculate uh, torpedo course. It's Sweden. Calculate torpedo course. Calculate torpedo course. And we'll also. Uh, start loading uh, torpedoes up right away again. Move! Come on, quickly! My discipline is dropping down uh, a little bit, uh, quite a bit. So hopefully we can get these hits off real quick and get back to the surface. I did take some crew members off. There was a uh, suggestion on the comic. I mentioned the discipline uh, going down really quickly, and uh, they said to uh, not put as many crew on. So I've only got them uh, one on each. Uh, officer, so we'll see how that works. We're coming up here. Let's see what we got. 88. I'm going to go a little bit more on that. Let's get that up to 90. Yeah, that's good for me. So we'll take the uh, last shot. Would be nice if we got all four of these. I did buy more ammo. Okay, fire. fire for our deck gun. So if we get a, uh, you know, get some the hits, we can at least surface and take them out with the deck gun. Save on the torpedoes. The torpedo is halfway to the target. All right, so we'll just uh, 
Calculate torpedo course. I want these guys targeting Calculate different ones course. just to get the resolution Calculate better. Torpedo course. The torpedo is halfway to the target. Yeah, nothing to do now but uh, watch the show. And so out of those four torpedoes, three of them missed. So, hmm. Uh, let's get this guy. He's uh, loading more torpedoes, taking his time. Set a course to these coordinates. Let's speed up a little bit here. This will uh, kind of wreck the site and the hydrophone, but I um, want to make sure we're, we don't lose them. Discipline's at 42, so the, the sinking actually uh, gave us some confidence. So we'll, we have no torpedoes to launch except for the rear, so we're going to have to wait. All right, so he's loaded uh, tube one and two. I'm just actually going to preheat the two torpedoes that are there now. Copy. We'll get those two uh, preheated and uh, launch those, and hopefully each of them hits. Because uh, they're at 100%, we're pretty close. So we got the uh, one of them's already preheated, so we're, we'll take the first poke right away. There's no sense waiting to the time he preheats that one. Um, let's go for A. So yeah, we'll take the shot at him. Blood two, two. If this doesn't hit, we're actually Fire. going to be uh, just going to the surface and we'll deck gun them. Okay, just finished uh, preheating the next torpedo, so we'll get that one flooded and launched. The other one's uh, over halfway. The torpedo is halfway to the target. There we go. Okay, I'll fire that last one. And I'm just going to come to the surface now, and we are going to start uh, deck gunning. Blow the tanks. I'll just wait for the ship to. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, visibility, that's fine right now. And low air reserves will get the compressor going also. There we go. So let's get him on the deck gun. The torpedo is halfway to the target. 40 seconds. 30 seconds. Buoyancy is too low. Right now we'll uh Get him to turn the diesel compressor on. See if we get a hit here. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds to impact. Ten seconds to impact. Oh, there we go. It's a hit. Nice. Fire on board. Major hull damage. The other one's a miss. Okay, so it looks like B has uh, got major hull damage. So let's see if we can uh, slow down here. Slow down. And if we can get the uh, captain out on the deck gun. There we go. And I'm going to move the uh, clug over because he's going to have to uh, send a report here of a sinking. Yeah, look at that thing going down almost three quarters now. So I'd say that's sunk too. So yeah, we'll take the other one out with the deck gun. There we go. Nice, nice. The Europa sunk for 1800. We definitely made our uh, tonnage. Uh, incoming. Okay, what is this? This is this last ship, maybe surrendering. We'll uh, decode it before. I've actually never seen this before. This is kind of neat. wonder if they are surrendering. Message is almost decoded. We're at 95% uh, compressors. New message. Let's see what it says. All right. Oh, he sent a message out to somebody else. Ah, okay. Well, that's not good. So uh, let's start seeing if we can take him down. I'm also going to put, um, I guess, one of my engineers uh, on the helm. Apparently that does steady the U-boat. Uh, the All 
Alright, we'll start getting right at him. I know uh, one time doing the deck him, uh, we just, it was so rocky, we, we used all of our ammo. Getting pretty wavy out here. I just want to make sure the bilge isn't flooding again. They're up at 86. I'm going to turn that bilge pump on. And I think we, we have hit it a couple times. Just kind of speed up here, try to get uh, closer and quicker. Don't want to use up all the ammo. It's probably going to be a bit rougher, but I just want to get closer. We can always slow down when we get up there. Yeah, a lot of the shells are uh, not hitting because of the waves. Is it about the stabilization? Oh, he just left the helm. Um, I'm pretty sure it is the engineers. I do want him on that helm, though, just in case. If it makes a difference, I don't know. Okay, they're back to us now. I think we may have ran out of ammo. Just see here, I think we may have ran out of ammo. Um, I think it's back here in the cabinet. Is it? Yes, sir. There we are, so let's uh, move these to the uh, deck down there. Alright, yeah, we'll get those guys to transfer those shells up. This is what happened last time. Look how close we are. Here was it. Yeah, they're loading up now, a little bit slow. You can see them loading up the uh, deck gun, and everybody just got washed away. Come on. There we are. There we are. Um, after this patrol, I think we will have enough experience to gain a level. And uh, one of the skills for the uh, leading officers is uh, using the deck gun. And uh, the other one is for, I think, sighting. So we'll make sure we give one of them the skill for the deck gun. That was a hit. Something just fell over. Oh, that's neat. I've, I've actually never seen pieces blow apart before. That, that's really good, good attention uh, to detail. Come on, let's take him out. Are we reloading again? We out? Oh, there he goes. He's taking more up. Okay. Yeah, it's almost to the point we can't we can't miss this. So I don't see any damage showing up on the uh, transport yet. And this is basically just for bonus points. We already have our objective sure we get more on a change course discipline is what was up it's dropping down now again even though we are on the surface we're still in uh, battle mode another hit yeah it looks like the uh transport has almost come to a stop. It's not moving very fast right now. Just loading up for another barrage. I'm going to take a peek in the make sure our ballast and we must be able to get They're horrible shots. Okay, we just got a fire started on board now. We've put probably, I don't know, eight, maybe ten shells into that. 
and you can see the damage is now starting to show he's almost halfway we're just reloading um, I believe this should be the last uh, rounds we shoot at him I think he'll go down after this yeah you can see his back end uh, pretty low in the water if we could just get another hit here we'd be laughing Oh, there we go, another fire, something falling over. <laughs> I love the attention to detail. Okay, so he's over halfway now. He is taking on water, that's from the fire, the damage. You can see up here, he's almost just a little bit at the end left. Yeah, there we go, nice. All right, um, well, let's continue on our way. We'll get everybody uh, get everybody some rest here. He'll send that last message out. We'll give him some rest too. Now we want to head off to uh, this U-boat uh, special mission. So we'll head off there. Let's speed up a bit. Um, I, I might even put um, yeah somebody on the engines, and we'll see what happens. And we just got another request from our onboard journalist. Let's see if we can find out what he wants. Uh, chats a bit with Skins and mentions the last meal was very good at a curiosity. Adds, Where's the food stored on the ship in the officer's room? No, it's near the toilet. Um, I'm not sure. I think the toilet is at the back, but I'm going to say that one. I don't know. Publication. It increased. Okay, it must have been right. Yeah, what a beautiful day out here. The sea graphics are, are well done. Well done. There's 16 kilometers away from that U-boat. I've got uh, myself on the uh, top there looking. I've also turned the search light on. It, it's, it's really neat. It's done a really good job on some of these things. So yeah, we'll just keep heading our way over there. I'm going to keep checking. I just don't like the fact that my bilge floods up uh, every once in a while. So we'll just uh, make sure we pump everything out. Yeah, we'll keep heading there and see what happens. We've got another question from our journalist here. We're getting pretty close to... Uh, uh, let's see if we can answer it with Weber. Uh, he wants to tell the public a bit how well engine the U-boats are. He doesn't want to confuse such matters. He's incredible about it. He asked Weber if he could explain exactly who was dived to match all the basic facts. There are five ballast tanks on board, funded from that sounds about right. Uh, we have the flood tanks, I'm going to use that one. I think it went up a bit. Right, seven kilometers, getting there. It just got a thing popped up, new mission nearby. We can send our men on missions nearby. So we'll, I'm going to get a bit closer and uh, then we'll just cut the engines. Yeah, see if we can get up to like 100 meters or so and then we'll send one of the guys across. About 200 meters, so we'll just uh, cut the engines We're here. Um, I'm not sure if we coordinates. can turn, actually. We don't want to ram into them. See if our momentum... Oh, we're already down to five. That's good. Okay, so I believe we want to send an engineer. Let's send Ganj out here. Let's see if we left-click. There we go. Uh, called for help. According to the message, they need fresh vegetables and fruit from us. We should probably take them with us before meeting their crew. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, he's got a helmet on. Uh, let's see. Where did we... Uh, let's see if we can get some... Um, yeah, sure. Let's just... Sounds good to me. We'll take six over and see what happens. All right. There he is on his dinghy. <laughs> That's really good. Really, really neat. Really neat. 
Okay, it looks like you got to the other sub. Yeah, I see the uh, task progression bar going up here. Okay. You know my me drinking my coffee. Okay, almost done. And uh, basically, uh, we, we still have to do our 2,000 kilometers. Been a lot of action for the little distance we've uh, traveled. Okay, so we've got an exclamation. Let's see. Was welcomed by the skipper of this vessel. After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point, asking about the resources he asked for in the radio message. Give food. Uh, we will share six units of food transported by rich in vitamins like fruit and vegetables um why you don't have enough time for this but no 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 um i'm not sure what's going on here okay he's preparing to return it yeah we didn't have enough um, maybe we took the wrong type we'll have to we'll send him back out and see what happens okay we just uh finished up the um uh the food quest i i had to make sure i picked up the food and equipped it and then we uh it worked so that's good so we're just heading on and we'll uh finish off the rest of this uh patrol um i want to turn that uh, spotlight off here let me get in here yeah let's turn that off there we go all right and we'll continue the uh the patrol Oh, we got a, um, that's probably uh, one of our own, but our, our reporter is asking questions again. I think this might be the last one. I don't even see him it listed anymore. Yes, okay, what is the use for compressed air? How to you breathing? It's the most important to blow the ballast. All right. It does say there's a tiny U-boat here. Yeah, yeah. all right. Continuing on. Well, the journalist is asking more questions. Again, I don't see his uh, thing up there, so I'm pretty sure we've already completed it. Oh, we got the wrong guy. Where is he? Alright, so we're confused about something. Suddenly reaches out and asks Weber why there are is a second telescope in the control room. Uh, that one's meant yes. All right. Okay, continuing on. All right, just finished that uh, patrol. We'll send that off and uh, head right back. We, we actually got a lot of experience. I thought it was a really good run, actually. So we'll get that sent off and... Uh, there we go, and uh, we definitely don't want to go in that way. Let's head him out here, and then we'll uh, shift that way. Why does it want to go? All right, well, we'll head this way. All right, we just got detected by an aircraft here, so we're going to uh, dive down, and um, let's get out of here. I'm not sure if he spotted us. Oh, our radio operator went to bed just as we were sending out. Let's see if we can get this message off before we uh, go under. Yeah, he is coming toward us. All right, let's get this thing dived down here. Change course. Copy. Okay, this is not good. Not good. Switch to electric mode. Okay, we're going down. Um, I don't think we made this quick enough. We actually um, might get uh, <laughs> depth charged here. Yeah, he's circling around. Well, we'll just keep uh, diving down, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll head south a little bit, and and then head back over. He is circling us.
And we're almost down to 100 meters. He he did leave, so uh, that's that's good. Uh, <laughs> we'll uh, continue on our way here. Let me get my course set again. Oops. Okay, and we're going to come back up just to uh, deck a wash. Um, just cruise like that for a little bit. Back in port. Okay, so the way back, yeah, we met a couple subs. There was a couple aircraft. No nothing happened, though, so basically I'm just going to resupply. Um, we might as well go check the leading officer. Um, let's make sure we get the skipper, and we'll see. Is deeply impressed by your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. Thank you. All right, Bender. So uh, with diamonds, that's for eight patrols. Or badge with diamonds for eight patrols. I didn't think they had eight patrols, but um, okay. I thought we just got our second one. Okay, eight patrols. Nice, nice. And he's got the Iron Cross First Class for Weber. And on his way to the German Cross, uh, War Badge with diamonds. Okay, let's see what I get. Ooh, we've almost got that German Cross. My. Uh, War badge with diamonds. Nice, nice. Okay, so we uh, got 8,000 reward. 33% uh, reputation, I guess. Wow, we got quite a bit sunk there. Almost uh, 14,000 tons. We were out almost 10 days. Nice, we got everything done. Perfect. Also, um, we're just going to leave out of here. Our guy has been researching the whole 10 days we are gone. So you see here is our research on the hydrophone. The green lines moved a little bit. So yeah, we'll just resupply and um, we'll uh, you know thank everybody for watching. And uh, next episode, we'll uh, maybe do something a bit harder here. Actually, before we uh, leave, let's, um, let's take a look at our skill. Actually, yes, there we go, level two. So this is what we can do for... Um, Myself, I usually am uh, doing spotting, so I'm going to pick the spotter. And Weber, he's going to be the new uh, excellent level 2. So we'll put him on the uh, deck gun. Great, so that'll help us a little bit. I don't think anybody else gained. We'll take a quick look. No. Good old Klug. Oh, he has. Excellent. What can we do here? Uh, healing or better sensitive hearing for sure. All right. And uh, Bender. Did he get anything? No, not quite. So we just got uh, Bender now and G Gange, Ganji to uh, level up. But uh, I, yeah, maybe next episode we'll do something a little bit harder, a medium patrol or something. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.